Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 6 of the West Ham Master League series here on PES 2020 with Diego Maradona in charge of the football club. And today we've got a massive game. We've got Manchester United at home in the Premier League. We're looking for revenge from United beating us 3-1 earlier in the season. If we could get a better result than that, that would be rather nice. And we've got some transfer news as well. Quite a bit of transfer news. The first bit you can see, Juan Cuadrado has joined the club on loan from Juventus. We've paid £7.5 million. To have him for the rest of the season. So he has come into the club. And as well as him. We have also brought in Morales from Levante. He's a left winger. Can I have a look at him from here? No I can't. Oh, actually I might be able to. Yep there we go. 81 overall. He's got a dribble through uh, ability there. And uh, what stats has he got? Dribbling of 85. Acceleration 82, speed 84, and so yeah, he should be a decent backup option. Morales, I'm happy with him coming in, and of course, with uh, Cuadrado coming in. But one big, big bit of news is has he already left the club? No, he hasn't. There he is. Andrade and Yarmolenko has left the club. He's gone for 25 million quid. Never really hit it off for us this season. And so I think 25 million is a decent amount of money. Considering his value is only 18 million. I'm happy with that deal. And that does mean that there is a reprieve for Felipe Anderson. Maradona did put him on the transfer list in the last episode. But with Yarmolenko leaving, that means that... He is going to be staying at the football club. And so let's go and have a look and see how we've been getting on since you was last with me. Which was for the Liverpool game there. We lost that one two goals to one in the last episode. And then after that we drew 1-1 with Palace in the league. Bit of a boring game. Neither side really took advantage of the game and never really took it by the balls. So, 1-1, one, one, decent result there. At least we didn't lose. And then, following on from that, we then played Palace again. This time in the FA Cup. And we got ourselves a 4-1 win. 3-0 up we was by the hour mark. And we never looked like losing. It was a very, very easy game for us. But what wasn't so easy was Tottenham Hotspur. 2-0 they beat us. And they made it look easy. Harry Kane with a couple goals. We was never ever in that game. But whatever Harry, Harry Kane can do against us. Callum Wilson can do for us. Trying to maybe compete with Harry Kane for an England spot. As Callum Wilson had a brilliant game here against Leicester. He got in behind the Leicester defence so many times. He should have had four or five goals just to himself. He did get himself to two, which won us that game of football. But after that one, 1-0 one defeat to Newcastle. Bit of a nothing game again here. Both teams looking tired. Newcastle got the winner in the 82nd or 83rd minute. Something like that as we went ultra attacking trying to get the win. They caught us on the counter and yep, they won that one. And then we lost again to Bournemouth 2-1. Decent performance from Bournemouth to be fair. They never let us get into the game. So yep, that leads us to where we are now. Manchester United at home. And we are, if I can bring up the league table. And Premier League, yep, standings. We are 15th in the league. Two points off the relegation zone. So every game 
really does matter now. So let's go and skip forward and I'll be back with you boys with the start of the Man United game. Alright guys, here's the team for today's game against Manchester United. We've got Fabianski in goal, Ogbonna and Balbuena as our two central defenders, Masuaku on the left, Juan Cuadrado as our right wing back and Declan Rice as our anchor man. Noble and Wilshere in the centre of midfield for a very nice English midfield three there. And all West Ham fans as well. So you do love to see that. And then Lanzini, Anderson back in the team for the first time in a month. Both behind the main man, Callum Wilson. Hopefully he can replicate his form against Leicester City. Here we are guys. A rather surprisingly sunny day here in East London in the, mid, in the end of January. And so this should be an interesting game. Cadrado there, all the eyes on him for this game, his debut at his new stadium. Hopefully he can put in a very good performance. Cadrado with the ball, can he get it back out? Oh, can he get it into the box? And oh, he does. And that's a decent header there. And it's a save from David De Gea, I think that is. No, that's Petr Cech. That's Petr Cech in the Man U defence. Okay. Interesting transfer there. Cadrado. No ball to Wilshere as we are just keeping the ball. Not doing a whole lot with it. But Anderson's in. Anderson is in. And he's so... I thought he scored. Oh, what a return to the team for Anderson. That would have been. Anderson, again, is he able to beat his man? He is. And he's gone out wide. Goes for the cross. And Wilson, with the shot there, is blocked. And oh, we maybe could have scored there. And that was Rashford to try and get onto the ball. Bell went up beating Rashford easily there. And Anderson running into the box again. He is causing this Man U defence all kinds of problems. And Lanzini, what was that? What was that from Lanzini? That's got to be one of the worst efforts we've had all season. And that is the end. Of a very poor first half. If you've seen anything from that first half. Uh, I'll be surprised. Not a whole lot of excitement. In that first half. Let's go into the second half. And now second half is underway. United are coming at us. Very early doors. Now oh, they might be in here. Martial with a shot, but it's Fabianski with a beautiful save. And that is the first bit of excitement of the game. And thankfully, we survive it. Martial really should have done better there, you would think. And now it's Pogba with the corner for United. And it goes into the box, and United have the lead. And it's Marcus Rashford with the goal. Absolutely shocking defending there. Maradona's not happy. Let's have a look at this on the replay. The ball came in, it ping-ponged about. And Rashford there, just with a typical poacher's goal there. And very, very poor defending. We got... Nowhere near that. Ah, that was not the way I wanted to start this second half. Now, oh, Lanzini's in. He's beaten his defender there. He's in the box. And Lanzini, yes! We are level immediately. What a goal from my man cross. Let's have a look at this. Lanzini nicked it off the defender's toe there. 
went past another man and got it in at the near post. Be still my beating heart. Lanzini has done a madness there. Oh my days. What a goal. And what a time to get it. Come on. Quadrado, Wilshire. And oh, Lanzini, can he get in again? No, he can't. Everybody's wanting to give the ball to Lanzini at the minute. Following that goal. Oh, oh what's, what's Martial done there to get past two defenders at once? And decent header there, but Fabianski, easily enough, getting the ball in his hands. And now United are in again, and they've scored again. Marcus Rashford with his second of the day. And, oh, this is not going to plan, boys. Again, awful defending. Maradona must surely be rethinking, only leaving the two defenders at the back. As here we are on the replay. Ball came forward. And it's this pass here that really made it. Rashford, once he was in that lot, that amount of space, he was never, ever going to miss that. We go with a diamond in the midfield. And Haller coming on for Anderson. And let's see what that can do for us for the last 20-odd minutes of the game. It's another corner for United. Pogba to give it as the in-swinger. And it's free. Oh, I thought that was 3-1. I thought that was 3-1. Fabianski got caught in two minds, whether to come for it or not. Wilshire. Lanzini. Lanzini plays it wide to Wilson. Oh, or Hallow even. But his shot is saved. Masuaku with another cross. And Hallow with a header. It's in the back of the net. But it's offside. That is the end of the game. And well, that was a poor, poor performance, lads. First half was was just a nothing game. But second half, United came out. And I think a 2-1 win is probably the right result for, for them. Because have a look at the match stats. Seven shots, two on target as I swing myself round. Seven shots, two on target. 11 shots with 8 on target for them. They definitely deserve to win the game. And we have got to go back to the drawing board and come up with a new tactic if we are going to be staying in this league. Because as you can see now, we're now 16th in the league. Just one point off the relegation zone. This Maradona experiment is not going well. And so, guys, that is where we are going to leave it for today. Hope you've enjoyed that video. Sorry if I was a little bit rusty. It has been a couple of weeks since I've last done a video, just for one reason or another. I've just not been able to get round to it. But if you have enjoyed the video, please give it a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Pro Evo content. FM20 content when that when the beta for that comes out and also Planet Zoo when that comes out again. So yep, subscribe for all that good stuff. If you are new, please do subscribe. We're eight subscribers away from 500 as of recording this. So if we could hit 500 by the end of the week, that would be nice. And I'm hoping we do do that because we're going to be doing daily pro evo videos this week so yep that's where we're going to leave it thank you for watching i shall see you tomorrow bye